Hi, welcome to another episode of Behind the Likes Podcast. I am Shy. And I'm Winter. And we're back again for another, another one. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, episode 42, y'all. I can't believe we're at episode 42. It's 42? It's 42. We're 10 away from a year of doing podcasting. Gosh, that's crazy. And you know what's crazy? What I realized, and I'm not trying to talk about anybody else besides us, but like there are people who have been doing the podcast for way longer than us that don't have as many episodes. Really? And like they are not as consistent as we are. So applaud to us because we are very consistent. We have been no days off. The only day off was when I had COVID. Yeah. No We'd have been late off. a few times, but we ain't never had no days off. I think off. we've only missed like one week. We missed one. Yeah. Literally one, one week. When I had COVID. Yeah. Damn. I literally, you know, it's crazy. I was thinking about that too. I was just watching uh, just something and someone was like, I don't understand how podcasts have seasons. You know what I'm saying? Like oh, yeah. it, And I feel the same way in a sense because I feel like it would be weird for us not to like do the podcast. I for feel us like to it's take been, a break. Yeah. Like it's just been a part of our whole I know. like. Yeah, I have thought about it, though. Mm-hmm. Like, when would we take a break? Like, how yeah. long would it be? I mean, I'm sure it would be interesting, but this is just such our normal life. Like, yeah, you know? I was literally thinking about that on the way here. Like, I was just like, damn, it's crazy. Like, I will cancel on so many appointments and flake on so much shit. But one thing I'm not canceling on is the podcast. Yeah. Rain, sleet, snow. Like, I'm getting up. I'm coming to the podcast. So Yeah, and it's like I do understand breaks because I, I feel yeah. like we always need a break. Everybody needs a break every now and again. But it's just like we could pre-record, get yeah. some guests, do something. But I was thinking that. I literally was thinking that. We too. should think like, about that. When we should take a break. When do you guys think to, what's the good a good episode to close the season out? So we're gonna do seasons. I don't. I. I'm we, just we saying. We miss seasons because look. See, you know what I was looking at too with Modern Family. I love Modern. Y'all, I've been obsessed with oh, Modern yeah. Family lately. Binge watching. Binge watching Modern Family because Same, I, I was watching it before I came. Literally, I found it on TikTok. I like. I don't know what. I don't know what I was watching. Well, I was watching Criminal Minds before that, but I'm like, I'm obsessed. And their seasons, I was looking at this because of us, their seasons are like 23, 24, and mm. now new seasons be like eight season, eight episodes mm-hmm, a season. Mm-hmm. And like the old, back in the day, like The Office had like 25 episodes right. a season. And I'm like, we passed the 25 mark. We didn't yeah. pass the 30 mark. We have 42. We passed the 40 mark. What are we going to do like... next year? Uh, fi- after 52, we going to take a break? I mean, we could after a year. Like what? I would only want to take like a month off. What are we going to do? Two months off. What no. are we going to do? I mean, we could do like No, we could You know what? We should take a we should take a break when we're doing our live shows. That's when yeah. we could that's when we could take the breaks. So, if you guys don't know, we've been like trying to um get these live shows together going for y'all. We're trying to do yeah. July cuz that's going to be end of at, June, July and Ju- August. Why do reading. I keep thinking this? It's cuz we started now you got me confused. July 28th or something. 26th, yeah, 28th. One of those, again. the end of like summer kind of in a sense. Mm-hmm. And yeah, so it'll be a year since then. I think that would be good if we if we took the break when we started doing the live shows mm-hmm. just so that we can fully focus on that because you know with the with the pod it does get a little stressful, but I know with the live shows it's going to be stressful. Yes. And then it'll make people miss us. And want to come to the live shows because it's like, oh, like their their season has ended. Now they're doing the live show thing. Mm-hmm. Tell us what you guys think about that. That's kind of a good idea that we they're just They're literally going to be like, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> like no one is going to be like, no, yeah, take a break. That's going to okay. be a great idea. They might want to, though, because that will encourage the live shows to happen promptly. Consi- I mean, we would. I feel like we should be able to put the live shows on YouTube as well, too. Like, I feel oh, like that'd be a, I, yeah, I think know, so, so too. it would still be you still be getting the content. But then I don't know about that. I don't know if we should put the live shows on there well, because we'll people a, are paying for the live show. So I don't know if we should do that. Maybe no. we could. Maybe we should put those on Patreon. Idea. Idea. That was smart. It's an idea. It's an idea. It's an idea. I like that idea. Yeah. So we what we've been talking about is doing a live show brunch um, in Los Angeles, New York, and Houston. Mm-hmm. And yeah, we're just trying to figure out. I got that the out. film crew. I got the DJ. Yeah. Trying um, to get the venues, talking to this guy about the venues for LA. Well, I have none of those solidified. I haven't told Amber that she's going to be filming. You know? <laughs> But she will be. We just <laughs> so, hire people. We just hire people. And I know this girl that I want to uh, want to do the DJ in too. She's great. She's be, she's DJed a lot before. Yeah. So yeah, I love. So that. we're all we're focused on that for sure. But yeah. yes. Also, guys, we don't have the note cards today, so we are going to be looking at our phones. But whatever. Um, let's get into the question of the week, shall we? You want to get into the week? Oh, what? Like Your our week? weeks? Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought we were doing the question of the week first. All right. Yeah. Okay. Question of the week. <laughs> Question of the week is what's your favorite way to reset and keep stress levels down? Mm, 
I love that. Nice positive. Who, who, who uh, said that? This was from Ivana XXO. Ivana. Hey, that Ivana. sounds like such a stripper name. Ivana. I love it. it gives a Russian. Ivana daddy. Trump. Ivana Trump. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But um, what did it say? Your what was it again? What's your favorite ways to reset and keep stress levels down? Honestly, you know what's crazy? This goes into one of the topics that I was going to talk about too. But one of my favorite ways to keep stress down and to reset is to be by myself. Mm. Is to literally just relax, be by myself, not even worry about anything that I have going on, like any tasks that I have to do. I just need to, I just need to figure out a day of where mm. I was like, I need to be by myself, reset, not do anything too crazy. Yeah. I, I feel that. And I, spa. Yeah, I like to go on a bender. Hmm? I like to go on a bender. I like to get drunk for like a week straight. And I'm just kidding. Hell no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's the worst advice you could possibly give. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I was like, what, a spiritual bender? <laughs> No, I mean a regular one, alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that makes me depressed. When I'm on a so bender, so bad. Oh my god, a bender will have me depressed as hell. As thinking hell. about my life, like I'm like, an what alcoholic. Am I doing? How what did am I, I doing get wrong? here? How did I get here? Why was I up till six a.m. the next morning, bro? I no. remember the last time I went on a bender. Won't say when it was, but it when? it wasn't a long bender. It was probably like a, two days. Yeah, but I was like, woke up at my friend's house. Was like, what the. F no, yeah. that's what happened. I woke up at my friend's that house. That was when I had COVID. No, oh. I remember what it was. I woke up to my at my friend's house and Shy is calling me, blowing my phone up. And I'm like, hello, what? And she's like, where are you? We have filming. And I'm drunk from the night before on a freaking just crazy bender for like two days. Do like, you realize you're telling on yourself right now though, right? What, for having a bender? You, we missed that filming that day because you were drunk and missed out on the episode and we blamed it on COVID. Oh, <laughs> she did have COVID too. I did have COVID. She did have COVID But too. we weren't going to tell the engineers that. Just kidding. Yeah, <laughs> I was on a two-day bender with my friends. I don't know. I drove, I, and then even that same day, I woke up and there was a bottle of tequila. I was just like, and keep in mind, I'm not even an alcoholic, y'all. I don't know what, I was just having the time of my life. Yeah. Just like, no, I friend. actually have a screenshot of you chugging tequila at like 9 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> I have to find that maybe and like just remember that And that's that not even me. It's I'm really not, not like that. Like Maybe I'd a little be, puff bar at nine. I'm right. just no, I don't puff bar at, in the morning at all. Is it called a puff bar? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, called puff babes. Bar. I don't do, I don't like the vapes in the mornings. I do it when I'm drinking like at night and stuff. Yeah, very true. In the morning. Oh, vapes. Yeah, some people wake up and hit that and I just mm -hmm. be looking like, ugh. Like they morning see. Yeah, but okay, we're way off track. I just realized. Sorry. No, wait, I want to say something about my benders. What? Now, benders do not hit the same after 21. But, they um, don't. You'll be hung over you, as hell. I for my birthday hung over two days. Oh, yeah. The other day, like I was like last oh, yeah. week, bro, boy, baby girl. I don't know what I was about to say. I was drunk. I was hung over for like three days. I cannot yeah. do it. And I'm the type that like, I feel like God's punished me a little bit with my hangovers. <laughs> so I just like to ride it out. I don't be taking medicine or doing anything like that. I'm just like I just. You're like I deserve this. I deserve it's this. self harm. Honestly, <laughs> yes. it's self harm. All right, wait. But what was yours um, to reset? Oh, to reset, to actually reset. I like to get off the internet. I like That's to really I like to put my phone down and get like right now currently I am kind of on a reset. Um I'm like I'm a, I'm okay. I'm a little bit on Instagram. I'm a little bit on TikTok mm -hmm. with the filtered comments. I'm not going on Twitter cuz Twitter is just way too toxic, but mm -hmm. just to reset, clear my mind, like get, you know, just everything in order that I need to get in order. Sometimes the internet just consumes you and you just kind of let the outside world have too much of a say and get too much in your head. And especially for me, it could be very stressful. So I just like to, you know, cut down on the screen time, get me a couple of shows I can binge watch. And, you know, that's really it. It's hard to not be stressed while I'm binge watching stuff too. Cause I, I, I was for a while an avid reader. Mm -hmm. So it's like when I'm binge watching shows, I'm like, at the end of the night, I'd be like, I should have read a book. Really? So I'd be getting stressed out sometimes when I binge watch on like Netflix and stuff like that too. Really? I don't. Mm -hmm. I like I like when I can binge watch a show because yeah. I normally can't even sit down and pay attention to a show because I'd yeah. be on my phone. So I'd be feeling true. fine if I want to watch true. like a little show. I'm like, okay, I'm happy. Like I'm sitting here watching this show instead of being like not even into it. I hate when I'm watching something with her and she gets on her phone. I'm like, watch the goddamn show. <laughs> so I yeah. know it's a good show or a good movie when winter is not like me 
me just check. Yeah, let me just go on here mm-hmm. and just be scrolling TikTok as I watch a show. But speaking of shows, I really want to oh my plug. God. I know. I've been talking about this show to everybody. It's called Baby Reindeer on Netflix, and it is extremely good. Like, I had, I told my mom about it. I said, Mom, oh, my God, you got to watch the show. She said, oh, I'm already deep in it. Like, I'm already on it. So got to watch Baby Reindeer. Got to watch what Jennifer did on Netflix as well was really good. Y'all what is Baby Reindeer about? It's so confusing to me. Is it a, not like confusing. a Christmas you, movie? No. I need to watch a trailer. Yeah, you haven't even watched She's like, it's so confusing to me. Hasn't watched a trailer. <laughs> hasn't done anything. Like I would scroll past it just for the name alone. Like, no. names are important. It is extremely good it is one of the best shows i've seen on netflix in a long time like i'm not even joking so y'all got to check that out that's good I, maybe i'll watch it i've then. already told you what it was i ain't telling y'all just no, tell me just you, you actually I told you. you literally explained it for two seconds and was like because i don't want to tell anything. the details i don't want to tell what the is details. the details it's based on a true story it's about this guy and he's like a struggling comedian he goes he he gets this stalker and it kind of like breaks down everything that happened leading up to him having this stalker and like his life is just a mess it's in shambles Mm -hmm. um but uh overall just watch it just watch it just watch it. i don't want to tell too many details it's too good i'm gonna watch i'm gonna binge it and i'm gonna come back next week and we'll discuss you're gonna be like oh my god i should have listened sooner Mm. yeah oh also speaking of my hair y'all this is my first time wearing my natural hair on the podcast is and it? yes i've never it's worn so my- long and pretty thank you i'm trying to learn how to like define my hair more i f***ed up today but yesterday i feel like it was good i feel like it was pretty oh you said yesterday. like oh I, you're saying like natural without like without any heat yeah anything? like no straightening like just like you know wet it put some product do what you're supposed to do like it looks so thick and healthy thank you it is healthy meanwhile i'm struggling why i am just struggling with my hair and with like you don't see, worry it's the, about the to half up half down. well i'm cutting it again. that's cute because you're cutting it again okay uh, yeah after winter you complained was the only, to me yesterday i know winter was say. the only one who was just like well, everybody's like, don't cut your hair. But when it was like, you're going to hate it. Right. And I will. Because I, I know you like long hair. Yeah, like. I will give you that because you were right. I was like, I'm going to do what I want. But I know I literally... everything about you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's just this part. The back is just annoying. And I it's mean, like, it looks healthy, though. Thanks. But so. if you keep having to fry it off, it ain't going to be healthy for too long. So I keep Might that in just mind. Go back to where I started. Bald? Uh, what do you mean? Yeah, you mean? after I fry it off, I'm just cut it one no, more time. No, don't do that. Just let it grow. Just let it grow. You could do some cute little short hairstyles. It's going to be annoying, but you'll get through it. You remember I just had my freaking short ass bob, what, last year, yeah. up to year. It'll come back. Just let it go. You need to start getting some sew-ins. You need to learn how to keep them in and quit playing. No, them. it's annoying. She don't really like sew-ins. Anyways, anyways, we're way off top. We're way off top. What's topic? What is topics? Topic. When to know. When to. I was just writing. Let's I work I would, on that, that grammar. When to know. When to give. <laughs> when do you know when to give up after the talking stage? Dating. Well, you know why I was thinking about this? Because um, two of the topics came from inspiration from. Because I've been a hostess with the mostest these past few days. And yes, like, you know what I'm saying? So I've just been, you know. Sometimes we have to grab inspiration from other people. Yeah. And she's one of my friends is dealing with a situation and she's was going through the talking stage for like six months mm. with mm-hmm. not much improvement of like communication, right. like asking the intrusive questions, but not nothing following it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like empty promises in a sense. And I'm like, I don't know. I feel like six months is a long time for mm-hmm. talking with nothing to back up well i 100 percent agree and most people don't know this but i bullied my boyfriend into asking me to be his girlfriend after like <laughs> like two months and everybody thought i was crazy but i was just like i don't care like i i had got to a point where i was just like everybody i dated mm-hmm. like i would date them i would get to know them like i would you know see how it was going for a little bit cool 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 and then i would be like i want I am looking for a relationship. If you don't feel like you are looking for a relationship as well, I don't really think that we should continue dating. Yeah. Because I don't want to force nobody to want a relationship, but I also don't want to waste too much of my time Mm. trying to change somebody's opinion. If a motherfucker say they don't want a relationship, they don't want a relationship, cut it off. And they'll they'll, they'll also show you as well. So if you're 
talking to somebody for six months and they haven't asked you to be their girlfriend, that's far too long. Yeah. I think it's too long. I, these days, I these days I do feel like people will take hella long and stuff like yeah. that, but that's because they put such a big deal on the girlfriend title. I don't think that, I think being a girlfriend is a big deal, but at the end of the day, a girlfriend is not a wife. You can break up, you can you can go your separate ways mm -hmm. and you, know, you can get out of this relationship. Gr people treat girlfriend, boyfriend like marriage these days yeah. and it's weird to me. But do you regret Regret? Did you have a moment of regret at one at any point when you felt like you jumped into it too early? Um, I feel like after about six months, I was kind of like, I think I was a little bit missing the streets a bit. I'm not going to lie. I was like, I kind of miss being able to do whatever I want to do. And these are all things that I vocally express to my man. Like we talk about everything, even if it's uncomfortable. And I, I just was like, you know, I just like my friends would invite me on trips and like, Oh my God. Everybody stuff experiences like that. that in the beginning. Of yeah. Relationship. You know, yeah. like you can't go on these things. I no got invited more. to Dubai so many times. Right. And you know what? Long. Honestly, I probably could still go on these trips. My boyfriend would let me go. I'm not going to lie. He really don't trip. You be thinking that shit. You he really has do. told me that he has okay. told me that I, I don't be thinking he has told me that he, he trust me. Just like how you thought he wouldn't be mad at you for showing your titties on New on uh, Bourbon Street, he was just like, "Uh, why would you do that?" And you was like, "Oh, it's like certain shit." And he's he, cool, pro he's he probably leaning. said that much, and that was it. That's what I'm saying. But it's just he, like he it's don't. He, it that, don't be like, an argument. It don't be nothing else. You were like, "What for real?" He didn't give a f about that. He don't give a fuck about nothing. He right? would not. No, but I'm saying like he he, he does care. He does care. <laughs> he about cares, you but. Sense. Whatever. The point is, I think at about the, at, at about the six point mark, six point mark, six month mark, mm -hmm. I was kind of missing the streets a bit. And I was like, Normal. damn, did I rush into this relationship too quick? Like, is this what I want? Am I ready to be settled down? Am I ready to be a wholesome woman? Like, am I ready to, you know, commit? And like, this is serious, you know, because like I knew that the person that I'm in a relationship, he's not going to do anything too terrible for me to have to just leave him. And yeah. that but I think that was a part of my yeah. trauma. I am used to leaving people and giving up on them very, very quick and very easily because they make it so easy. Yeah. All the guys that I've so dated easy. are pieces of shit. Mm -hmm. So I, it's so easy for me to walk out the door because yeah. they f***ing up every week. Yeah. But with this guy, I'm like, oh, I, I'm about to really be locked in this motherfucker. Isn't, isn't that so crazy how it turns to that when it's something, someone so healthy? Mm -hmm. When it's so healthy, you like, oh, I'm scared of this. I, I'm like, why yeah. are our brains wired that way? To it's be like, like, oh, shit. Yeah, like, this oh, is shit. for real. This is serious. Like, this could be so my husband, y'all. This exactly. could be it. So, <laughs> exactly. There's no more hoe days. So yeah. it's like, I kind of was like, damn, like at the six month mark. But then I got over it. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like after about like three months, I've said this before, like, people's true colors start to show. It's mm -hmm. like that three month uh, like time frame of like, you can't really hide who you are. And yeah. I feel like after that three months, I'm really starting to question like what we're doing here. Like mentally, yeah. I've probably been asking that because I, I mean, in my head, I'm yeah. like, I like this person. I want to be Three months is a good mark. Three months is, three months is a really good mark to yeah. really see and figure shit out. You really never fully know somebody mm -hmm. till you see them in all of their different moods right. vibes and even then you don't know anybody my mom has this saying she's like you don't even know nobody for real until after three years yeah so, very and, I, true. and i i do agree with that so i mean i mean three months is a great point to get into like a boyfriend girlfriend relationship i definitely don't think let anybody string you along for six months a year and yeah. all of that like f speaking on the same thing how you were like oh my friend was going through this like blah 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 mm -hmm. i have a friend who had this guy that she was friends with and he was like, you know, I really want to take you serious. Like, I want to really try this. And she was like, all right, we can try it. And then he, you know, was cool for probably a couple weeks and then was terrible. Didn't get her nothing for Valentine's Day, getting caught up with other girls, you know, you know, not taking her out to dinner, not taking her out to dates, not sending flat, not doing nothing. And how long were they together until she, when she said that? That she wanted they, to... They weren't together. They She just was like, yeah, like, I'll give it a chance. Like, we can try oh, this okay. out and see what ha happens. And now it's been months. Mm -hmm. And I've I've been telling her, I'm like, what are you doing? Like, yeah. why do you want to deal with these type of men? Like, he said he wanted to give it a try. He said he wanted to give it a shot. And then mm -hmm. he proved to you that he was full of shit. And you sit here and you tell him, oh, I'm not the girl who's going to accept nothing for Valentine's Day. I'm not the girl who's going to just not, like, let you not take me out. Yeah. But you are. Yeah. Because you, you exactly are. That. You're letting, you're, you're allowing him to sleep with you without wifing you. 
You're allowing him to sleep with you without taking you on dates, sleep with you without buying you nothing for Valentine's Day mm-hmm. and give you these excuses. You're allowing him to sleep with you after he goes out and, you know, gets caught caught up with other girls and shit. And it's like you have no self-respect for yourself. You can't sit there and say that you want to be in a relationship or you want a good guy or, or any of the things because you don't. Like, I think that it just boils down to self Her example isn't really... Her example, the example she's trying to set in a relationship, she's not standing behind. Yeah, it's just like she's she's talking about it. Yeah, it's a good mouthpiece. Yeah. It's 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 like I've noticed like I've done that in the past too, like with toxic men. Like you know, I'll be like, oh, I'm not the one. Like you gonna go have to find somebody else, and then I'll quit messing with them, and then I'll take them back. Yeah. And then I'll take them back. And it's just like, you are that girl. You're his dummy, babe. Like, you're allowing to. Oh, my God. It really hurts when you realize you're somebody dummy. Oh, I've been somebody dummy. Bro, I was like, oh, I'm actually. Because I would be like, I'm standing on business. And I would would stand stand on on business. I would stand on business for some months. But then I would let him come back because, you know, I, I loved him. And mm-hmm. I I knew he loved me, but I knew he was a piece of shit and he wasn't going to change. And it's like, yeah. why do you think he's not going to change? You're letting him be, the, be who he is. Like, it's just flat out. So I definitely think that don't get caught up in that talking stage. If somebody is showing you that they're not going to give you what you want, yeah. leave them alone. You're not going to change nobody. And I will say also... I hate, I, you know, it's weird. I hate sometimes when I hear this, but I feel like some people are not mind readers. Mm -hmm. And I I feel like you owe, I mean, not owe somebody, you can communicate with somebody once, but I feel like if I'm starting to sound like a broken record and repeating myself and Mm -hmm. it's, we only three months in, that's a, like, like just with anything, like I want a little bit more communication. I, instead of just texting all the time, I would like for you to call me at night. Mm -hmm. I like, you know, simple things like that. I'm like, if I have to, if I sound like a broken record after a while, that's that's a four, that's a forefront to the future of like, this is going to be with a lot of different things in my relationship. I don't want that type of relationship where I constantly have to do that. Like I'll say with Evan, like in the beginning, the first text that we were we had together, he was low key like not responding to me. Yeah, like I was I just like you told me that. Remember, I made it home, blah blah mm-hmm. this and that, and um, so he ignored all of those texts, every right. single one of them. Right. So I text. I was very childish, also 28, 27, 28. I said, "Well, f- you then." And, <laughs> I'm crying. And he called me, and he was like, "Look, I'm really bad with the phone, blah blah blah, this and that." Mm-hmm. And I said to him, and I, I've only had to say this one time. I was like. You're going to have to figure something out if you want to talk to me. If you mm-hmm. want to be with me, if you want to be in any type of relationship with me, you're going to have to figure something out because I'm right. bad with the phone will never be an it excuse don't, for me. It don't fly. It, no. will, it is not going to be mm-hmm. an excuse for me at all. Like, you figure something out. You got time to shit, eat, brush your teeth, and sleep, and you check your phone with mm-hmm. any of those situations. No, there's always there's never an excuse or a reason to me. Yeah, I don't believe the, oh, I'm, I'm just bad at texting. I'm bad on my phone. Yeah. If you're bad on your phone, you're bad at texting. We have no reason to communicate. Exactly. So, we're, we're like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's a, another thing. Like, that was, I guess, a green flag in my relationship as well is I will tell you some shit and that shit is going to get done yeah. like just you know point play I don't want to keep telling you shit and also such a green flag because you had two polar opposites from before that to now oh, it's yeah. just like it was mm-hmm. such a yes. drastic change such a drastic so I could change. understand all like the yeah trepidation like in your head because it was yes. so different it was so drastic to the mm-hmm. point like like the relationship before obviously was like an ex who like we were trying to rekindle shit and yeah. make it work. We talked about it all on the pod. But I remember one of the things that was pushing me away from him again was like, I was like, you know, you're not calling me after practice, like, you know, whatever, exactly. and, and after camp or whatever. And he would be like, I'm just hella tired. That's like, what I was meaning when I'm I just said tired, that. I'm hella tired, right. Mm-hmm. And and my boyfriend now, it's like, I don't have to tell him shit. Nothing. It ain't no such thing as too tired. And that was the first thing I noticed from those two. Mm-hmm. I was just like, look at this. You right. can exact like, you right. don't even have to ask somebody right. who wants to and talk I would to be you like, to do yeah, certain You got to work on the communication, bro. Yeah. Like I, and then it's just like with that, even in that situation, I would be so careful about the things that I would ask for, like mm-hmm. as far as, you know, communication or this yeah. or that, because- I'd be like, let me pick my shit wisely because yeah, I know this man, he's yeah. so fucking hard headed that if I tell him too many things at once, he'll just be like, shut down. Like, yeah. he'll shut down. Terrible at communication. It's like, like uh, those text messages when you ask him, you it's be like, you were uh, with and a girl. And I'll only answer one thing. <laughs> you were with yes. a girl and you had on a pink shirt with a Sprite. And he was right. like, I ain't even had no Sprite. It was Dr. Pepper. Like, right. that that's was, how, is how he is, was. Yeah. Exactly how he was. And I would have to like be like, damn, like, I don't want to bring that up. Like, I'm going to just not say nothing. With my man now, I'm bringing up 
fucking every single goddamn thing I feel. Yeah. And he's going to sit there and fucking listen. And he's going to make whatever I'm I'm needing to happen, happen. Yeah. And that's just that, period. But I will say I am proud from the topic that I thought about. I am proud of my friend because she was just like, I'm not dealing with this. She was like, if I have to yeah. continue, like, you know what I'm saying? You get to a point where you, it like, sometimes it just takes noticing the cycle and be like, um, mm -hmm. I know I'm better than this situation. I know that I don't deserve that type of, like, right. I just feel like when I, when I have to start asking for basic shit, right. it's a problem. You know yeah, what I'm saying? The basic shit is like, oh And communication, God. communication is the most basic thing. Yeah. It is the barest of the minimum. The barest of minimum. If the minimum. man can't pick up the phone and call you, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. If you can't, if y'all can't you, go out on a date, you know, you ain't got shit going on. Like, I don't know what's, he don't, he's just not that into you. Okay. So I have a random question. Random, random, random. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go. <laughs> um, so, so say you're dating a guy and you only think that he has one phone for like mm -hmm. a few months. You think that he has one phone and it's a droid. Mm -hmm. So you're just like, okay, he just has a droid. Like, you know, some people just like droids better than, right. uh, you know, iPhones. And then like randomly you find out that he has an iPhone as well mm -hmm. for supposedly like business. Mm -hmm. Would you think something of that? Do you not have the iPhone number? No, like you randomly just find out about the iPhone. Yeah, that is, that's weird to me because it's like, why wouldn't I have the iPhone number? Yeah, and especially if I have an iPhone, but some people can use it for just like work. Yeah, but that's weird because I, I feel like iPhones, you're going to use an iPhone to share a location with somebody, FaceTime with yeah. somebody. Yeah. Like that's why you would get that's that why instead you of have... another droid. Yes. You know, like that to me is like, oh, because even with like my mom, my mom has a droid and I'd be like, please get Gotta an iPhone. Gotta use Google Meet. Yeah, please <laughs> use an iPhone yeah. uh, so I can FaceTime you, mm -hmm. like, you know, so I can get your location and blah, 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 all that stuff. So yeah, that would definitely be weird to me. Because so, me and Evan were talking about this and he was like, no, some people just like tech people like droids. And I'm like, but if you have both phones, then yeah. it makes no sense. I mean, my boyfriend has two phones. I got both them damn numbers. I be yeah, I'll blow both seven. Up. Yeah, he does. You be sleep, them. bitch. I'm, I'm putting them, them both in a text. Right. I'm putting, <laughs> somebody's gonna be up. <laughs> right. And like he has two too, but one of it because he got blocked off of Uber and Lyft. I don't mm -hmm. know how you get blocked off of both. He's probably doing something terrible. Is yeah, I don't. I, I, I literally both How literally but mainly that? because he's always late but we were yeah. talking about that and he was just like i don't think anything's i was like i would see something weird Be only reason why i would see something weird with the two phones is because one is a droid you know what i'm saying and i yeah. have an iphone no so that's why weird. would you why talk to you, me yeah why wouldn't you talk to me on the iphone yes yes why wouldn't you talk to me on the iphone if i have an iphone even if it is just for business like you could do both of them and i want both numbers yeah that's very odd but whatever. isn't it okay that was random uh next topic next. dating outside your race have you ever dated outside your race no. And the reason why I brought this one up is because I was watching a TikTok and I seen this girl was like, I'm done with I'm done with black men. Like they mm -hmm. are they've been doing me so bad, they've been doing me so wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give me a white man and don't nobody be mad about it. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, I sometimes can understand that. No. Oh. <laughs> no, I was just wondering. <laughs> That's what I thought you were gonna say. <laughs> I'm sick of I'm sick of <laughs> <laughs> no, literally, I can understand. I no, I was about no. Yeah, you confused me. I was like, I can't understand that connotation because to me, I don't think white men are like a saving grace. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I don't understand when black women are like, I'm going to the white side just because right. they see like a few black women. I mean, it's kind of like the same when girls be like, I'm done with men. I'm about to be gay. Yeah, literally. <laughs> like, there's, it's not going to be better. Yeah, I feel like right. lesbians is worse. I feel like we can square up. People bitch, you know always like, say yeah, being I do gay not, is worse than being straight. Literally, I do not understand that aspect of it either because it's like we both got emotions. Yeah, they be like, women are worse than men. But, um... Yeah, I, the whole, first of all, white men scare the hell out of me. Right? They scare me. They creep me out. Even this morning, I was walking to my car from your house, and um, there was a white man walking the street, and I crossed the street. I was just scared, like, I, not to be prejudiced or anything. <laughs> not you holding your purse for the <laughs> Literally, I'm, they scare <laughs> me. Grabbing a pearl. I think it's because I watch a lot of, like, crime mm -hmm. stuff, and, like, you know, the, the the real psychos be Caucasian. That's why every time something happens that's crazy and the person is black, you'd be like, they were literally, black? I was like, they were black? Like, yeah, what? Literally. Like, you know, mm -hmm. like, it just... Like, I understand, like, a certain crime, I guess, okay, black, but then it's like all the crazy shit be white people. Yeah. You know, like, serial killers and shit. Yeah. So, that's why I was like, the D.C. sniper was black, and I heard he only really? used to drink sugar water and crackers. Oh, that's why he was crazy. Sugar <laughs> water and crackers. <laughs> 
get you going. <laughs> That's crazy as hell. <laughs> no, but um, wait, yeah, wait. There was just something that happened. You know what I always think is weird about? Uh, I mean, not weird. I, let me say no. You. Oh, oh no, that's what it was. What that there? I just saw this TikTok. What was the girl's name? I. Her name was Sade. I remember her name was Sade. It's a girl Sweet named Sade. And she was just recently murdered by a white man after a first date <gasps> to go get seafood. And I guess she went back to, to his apartment. Seafood. She went back to his apartment. And he dismembered her body. Put it in multiple places. I forgot where this was. Was it South Carolina or something? It was something. But she, 19-year-old black girl. Oh, my goodness. Poor going baby. on a date with this white man. And my man, I'm like, why is she even going on a date with this white man? Was he, he older? Older than her. And he wasn't like a young, cute white man. Mm -hmm. Like, he was like a like a farmer-looking ass guy. Like, you know? So, I just... And then that one girl. Oh, what was her fucking name? Her name was... Oh. I don't know. I just feel like... It's deep rooted aggression with white men. I don't know what it is about it. So that's why I'm like, I don't ever really understand. Lauren, her name, I think her name was Lauren. I think her name was Lauren. She was this brown skinned girl and she was murdered by a white man from a dating app. And he is still free. He is still free. Cause I guess they didn't have enough evidence or something. But I'm telling you, y'all think y'all wanna. I I don't want to be want to go to the other side, and you don't really know what that other side is. I mean, I guess like, there are every type of men are yeah. out here abusing women. Abusing. We can't. I say was that. just about to say, did they ever find out what happened to those two women downtown in L.A.? Yes, they found out who the killer was. Who oh, was it? He was black. God, I know. Damn it. <laughs> No, I hate that. I know. But no, I think he was like a photographer or something. How we had called. I think he was a photographer. You got to look it up. Yeah, I have to I look, that look up. it up now. But no, literally. Um, oh, that's what I was going to say. The weird thing that I always see and in, in, think about in interracial relationships, especially when it's a black woman. I know this sounds crazy to say out loud, but I always wonder if the white man's penis is big. Like um, I always like I'm always, oh what? Oh, yeah. Like, I always wonder what, and like, me and Winter were talking about this the other day because I said this to her, and she was just like, she was like, what did you say? What? About the white man penis? Because um, I, I always I think, have slept with a white man before, and he had a big penis, so. And I have too, and it was. This I think I've lied before and big. said, I've li I think I've lied before and said I've never slept with a white man, but I have. Yeah, I think I probably lied about that too. Yeah. And literally, was this, no, I've never lied about that. I've said I, I, said I had sex with This one. is the guy who did it. <gasps> oh. Ugly. Ugly. But no, that's what I was thinking about because I seen it and I'm like, that there's like this whole TikTok trend of like black women wearing like ugly wigs to try to get a white man. I'm like, oh, hard, you know, hard like, wig, soft life. Yeah, hard wig, yes. soft life. So that's where I'm like getting it from. And I'm like, I don't know about that soft life that you speak of. Like, I feel like it's just a like I've seen. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. I've seen some 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 ladies bag them a nice fine white man i'm not gonna lie i've no, seen it they're I, rich they're they're good looking they're fine so it is possible it is possible and if you know if that's your vibe go for it that if that's your vibe go, we can't say that all white men are serial no, killers no i know no of course not i can't not say we're, all white, we're not saying all white men are serial killers but i do think sometimes that like i think comparing the two just saying that because i don't want a black man anymore i'm gonna go to a white man because of what yeah. a black man does you don't know what you're gonna get with a white man because That's white men are terrible saying. too honestly all, all men, men are, are terrible, terrible. <laughs> <laughs> literally all men are terrible so it's just like <laughs> to me personally i'm like i don't know i've been with and the white guy that i was with that one time mm -hmm. hella cool swag right. it's like super like i i need a white you I need, need a wigger a, i need no i don't want a wigger <laughs> i don't want a wigger i don't want a white boy that's fucking, that thinks he's black no i need a white boy like i would have needed a white boy with like style like cool. someone i can Some, relate to a little swag someone who don't watch martin you know what yeah. i'm saying like that can mm -hmm. like that is woke as hell but still cool i, I would like a white boy somebody who's who's my, not we secretly racist yes. Exactly. Oh my God. I remember. I remember I told that story. I, I had dated this white boy when I was young. I was like a teenager. Mm -hmm. Dated this white boy and he had said something racist. My first white crush was Danny Summers. I remember him. Really? Yeah. He had said something racist and I had to be like, I'm half black. <laughs> and he was like, really? Really? Hey, I thought you were like Mexican. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? And like, I never. That is crazy. Fucked with him again. Yeah. Mm -mm. Crazy. Crazy times. And then after that, I was like, can't do the white yeah, man. Yeah, no. I'm now like, I just think they're all like undercover. Like, well, if they get the chance to say something racist. Imagine if they think it. it's cool. 
They'd be like, you it. black bitch. I get, like, <laughs> just saying some crazy wild shit. In the heat of an argument, they'll say some racist ass shit and be like, you know what? That's oh, why I that would be the worst. That would be the worst. Imagine you marry a white man and he just comes out swinging with some racism. Like, oh. Remember that woman? I mean, the, we read some advice a while ago and her, one of her parents was white and she was just like, her mom be calling her the N word sometimes. I'm like, oh that my was God. insane yes. to me. I'm I, like, bro, I have, I mean, sometimes, and I don't want to say this for all your people. Your mom be saying that to you? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but I'm just kidding. You sorry, know, I love Miss Melissa. Bird. So, um, I, no, yeah, there are some parents who adopt black children, and I feel like for the wrong intentions, but also I've seen a lot of people adopted by white people who have great parents. So I don't really like when people talk about that and that yeah. and like make it seem like, oh, every white person who adopts somebody who's black is like terrible. They just want a black kid. Like you don't know how to do their hair. Well, sometimes they don't know how to do hair. I'm not, I will give you that. But I've, I know I have some friends with some white parents who are very nice people. Yeah, of course. We're not generalizing all white people yeah. and all. But no, white. I do be seeing people generalize it on TikTok when yeah. they see That's the white what I'm people. Saying. Like, and okay, I just recently seen on TikTok this black guy who's a single father and mm -hmm. he has all, he's adopted all white children. Mm -hmm. What? Nothing. What? <laughs> to me, I was just like, not the all white kids, but I'm like, uh. But that was weird to you? Yeah, it was a little weird. Really? I mean, at the end of the day. Not not because they're white, because it was just like, I don't know. Like, you're, single, maybe, you're by yourself. But when you are trying to adopt kids, you have to understand, first of all, the adoption process is extremely hard. I have looked into it myself. It's extremely hard. Yeah. So when you get the chance to adopt a child, a lot of people aren't sitting up there Oh no, he's not white. He's not they black. They just they're ready to. It's you're ready to be a parent. You're ready to have somebody be in your home, and you're ready to love a kid as your own. So you're not looking at, you know, the color of this child's skin. It's not like you go out mm -hmm. and ch choose specifically what kind of kid you want. Really, yeah. Probably, especially in America. I don't know how the adoption process works in America specifically. I know it takes a long time, but I've looked like outside of the country and stuff like that. But um, it's a long process. That shit is hard as fuck. I was looking even in India and I was like, okay, maybe I could adopt from India or something. Do you oh, know? I think Indian babies are so pretty. They are. They're so cute. But I had a cousin who Indian and black. But anyways, and she's literally so pretty. But um, like in India, the adoption process is so crazy. If you want to get an uh, adopted child and kind of like have the process quick and like you're not married, you can only adopt disabled children. Oh, what? Literally only can adopt disabled children. Like blind, deaf, missing limbs. Like, and they're like, oh yeah, you can have one of these kids quick because a lot of people won't even yeah. consider that. So there's hella crazy ass shit. Like I've looked into um, their Indonesia. To me, I don't know why it was weird. I don't know. I think even just like the guy's personality. You know what's crazy? What's kind of j been jading me a little bit is all these essay stories. What? Like sexual assault stories. Oh, uh -huh. So it's just like sometimes I like. Oh, I like, like the ad when adopt adoption thing. Yes. Yeah. And you know, like they, have, what, who was it? Woody Harry or somebody like that? Woody, Woody, some, some, some guy adopted. He's a famous uh, writer, producer or something in movies. He adopted his daughter mm -hmm. and 10 years later, like he adopted her as an adult with his wife at the time. Mm -hmm. 10 years later, he's now marrying that adopted daughter. Oh Those my God, that is so weird. Those type of situations are so weird Ugh. and sick to me. So when I'm like, yeah, I don't know. And I just, I'm like, Do you know I that pray all... that no grooming or anything like that goes on in those type of situations. Yeah. But like all those stories sometimes have like kind of like jaded me and been like, yeah. I'm like, since everybody has a story of sexual assault, I'm like, who is a sexual a assaultee predator? in our life, like in our, in this age, in this group right now? Like, you know I mean, what I'm saying? That's then, what I be thinking about. I'm like. Uh, I mean, I get what you <sighs> mean, but at the end of the day, that happens with birth parents too. Ugh. A lot. I know. A lot, like literally. So that really makes me sick to my stomach. Yeah. I don't think any, I don't wish death on anyone. I don't think that, I don't think that anyone deserves to take life away. But I feel like sexual assault, what are they called? Molesters, child Yeah, molesters. molesters. Child molesters should go death below penalty. the jails. Yeah. Like, like I think that like death. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. I really do. Like that I is agree. a sick, it's a sickness to me. Yeah, I definitely agree. Um, but I mean, yeah, that's, that. It sucks. It's true. There's a lot of messed up stuff that happens in foster yeah. care and adoption. It is. It's not cool. But I don't think it's fair to like put that label on everybody who I has know. adopted because some people really just want to be parents and want to yeah. like, you know, take a child in and like 
change somebody's life for the better. So, you know, cause I wanted to adopt cause I wanted to, I wanted to adopt and, and like been like, I want to adopt cause I want a child. I don't want a baby daddy. And I want to like, hopefully give somebody a better life that they wouldn't have without yeah. me. You know? I can understand giving someone a better life. Do you yeah. feel like it's selfish to, to not give a child a two parent household? Um, that's a good question. It depends. It depends on if you're struggling or, or if you're not. Like, I feel like if you are a single parent household and you're struggling and you're not financially sound or anything like that, I think it's unfair. Yeah, yeah. I do think it's unfair. I mean, it happens every single day. Like, I was raised in a single parent household where yeah. we didn't really have money like that, you know? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, my mom started getting money and making money for real when I was in, like, high school. So... Yeah, I didn't really. With adoption, do they check your income? Like, do yes. they check all of those things? They check everything. You got to have people come to the house. And like, you know what else is sad, shit. too? Like, when people adopt and then they, like, beat these kids. I'm like, you worked yeah. so hard to get this child. Why are you abusing it? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I feel like more so, more of, I feel like more of the abuse happens in foster care. Yeah. And I, I'm sure there's stuff that happens in adoption, but I definitely feel like more happens in foster care because these are kids that not, this is not a forever home. These people get paid to do it. Mm. Some people foster just for money. And instead of having really like, you know, in their heart, like, yeah. oh, I, I love children and I want to, it's just like, yeah. this is a check. So did I ever tell you about the time that I would crack jokes about one of my friend, friends who looks completely different from the rest of her family. Like we grew up together literally from like really? childhood mm -hmm. to still as adults, mm -hmm. know each other, have talked to you, like been close friends. Looks completely different, like tall, skinny, brown skin. Her family is all like short, fat, light skin, not mm -hmm. fat, thick. <laughs> Thicker, lighter skin, and I would be like, "You adopted this now." Like all throughout, like literally grade school, mm -hmm. we would say like crack jokes like that. And I remember one day, and like something happened, traumatic happened, and we were. She was just like, "Well, you know, I'm adopted." I was like, "No, I didn't. Why didn't you tell me <laughs> right. when we were in second grade?" Right. So I would stop. I felt. And oh what did my, she say? Like I couldn't really crack. I literally felt horrible. I would. I've never cracked so another funny. joke about an abortion, adoption, anything that else since so then. Funny. I'm like, bro. Like you could have told me this when we was in third grade. Like right. I remember she told me that like in like eleventh grade. I'm like, bro. No, I have. I dated this boy who's dark skin, and all his family's light skin. All his mm -hmm. sisters light skin. His mama light skin. His daddy light skin. And he's like brown, 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 brown skin. And He's like he ain't adopted. That isn't that isn't. I mean, he looks just like his mom. Though, yeah, so. that's what I'm saying. That isn't on un, on normal to me because, like I always say, black people come in many different shades and colors. Like yeah. I have my first cousins, most of them are brown skin, and my paran, he is light. He's literally as light like me, and most of them are like of a little. They're a little bit. It's like one of them, you know, like that's light skin. Like I think that. genetics is so cool. Genetics are so interesting. You could come to out me. white as hell, dark mm -hmm. as hell, blonde hair, blue eyes, red blue hair, blue like hair, all type of stuff. I want a redhead baby so bad. Love but anywho, we getting caught up, getting caught up, getting caught up. We need to move on to the tea. Summer Walker. Oh, Summy girl, have y'all seen? You don't even know what's going on with Summer Walker. Oh, I watched it today. You watched it. Mm -hmm. So Summer Walker popped out with her new man. And unfortunately, when she did so, so did all of the people who have claimed that he has harassed them, stalked them, made them feel uncomfortable, like done all this weird stuff. I guess he used to do OnlyFans and he was yeah. like harassing OnlyFans girls. And all these girls have like proof and shit. Like it's like crazy as Not hell. Not receipts. Receipts are crazy. Bro. And then one of the girls, this is what gets me. This sure. is what pissed me off for Summer. What pissed me off was the guy would tell these girls like, "I don't care about you. I'm engaged to an I'm I'm engaged to an R and B singer. I'm engaged to an R and B singer," but wouldn't say who it was. And then I guess one day, sent a picture of Summer Walker's twins and Summer at the doctor. That was insane. And to you me know, too. Summer Walker don't show don't them kids show faces. them kids. So I'm like, this man is a fucking creep, and he yeah. has like pried his way into this girl's life. And I'm just like, Summer, bro. You got to get out of there. I seen a caption where it said that they talked in 2017, I guess, for a little while. And mm -hmm. I feel like Summer doesn't realize sometimes. I mean, who knows? I don't know her at all from mm -hmm. Can of Paint. But, like, I think she doesn't realize that she is Summer Walker. Right. And that no matter how hard you're going to try to fight and escape to normalcy, you can't do that anymore. And it's just, mm -hmm. like, that type of man with those type of receipts is mm -hmm. crazy. Like, mm -hmm. I, don't ex I don't know what... 
what would you do after that type of situation after that happened like would are you like what is she supposed to do like yeah i don't know i mean i'm not gonna lie sometimes when i've like gone through breakups i have like dated some people who i'm like i ain't got no business dating this man yeah i'm just bored i'm heartbroken i'm because you know she was just with me so it's like maybe she just going through something yeah. and you know he was there and she's like i don't want to date no more famous dudes and so she accidentally gets tricked by this man i've been tricked before that's how i ended up but to get clout grab like to do clout to be cloudy like that yeah. that would that would wait be... did he post that no but oh. no the girl did but like saying those things even is just like that's it's such so a... cringe mm -hmm. like you're saying i don't care i'm married to an r&b singer she yeah. famous she famous is she rich anyway like you're a loser yeah that's why honestly women don't be stepping out like people shouldn't step out uh, they tax bracket sometimes for those type of reasons like right. that honestly no really that that that's that's a fact like yeah, you can be because they be getting a little too weird a little too gas yeah and then you feel because i eager beaver this. is insane i've done this i've done this before i've dated a guy who i was like he's not in my league at all and then when he do something i'm like ew you little fucking troll <laughs> like you should have been thankful yeah. that i even breathed in your direction mm -hmm. and now i have to deal with the fact that you're weird and you're not even on my level yeah that was like the iPad guy. That's yeah. how I felt about him. Mm -hmm. That's like honestly dating somebody that you think is, isn't that attractive either, but they got a good little personality. And right. like, you playing with me? <laughs> and you ugly nigga? Like, what are we right, talking about? Right. Like, you got the nerve to be an asshole and be unattractive? Right. Hell no. So don't do that. Don't, don't date. Women, do not date below. Like, he needs to be on your level of cuteness. He, he needs to be on your level of money or yeah. a little bit higher. And he needs to at least know it because men who, you will, you can tell when a man don't think he good enough. He will treat, like, that he's good enough for you. He will never say it verbally, mm -hmm. but he will treat you like shit yep. to get you to feel as low as him. Yeah. I, like, that is, I've, I've been had men that. be jealous of me. I've had some, of, some very famous men even admit that they are jealous of me or insecure about my confidence. Who? <laughs> I, just, I don't even expect you to say it anymore. I just have to say it at this point. It just has to be said. But yeah, don't let these motherfuckers, because these little weasels will try to drag you down. Men be jealous too. Mm -hmm. Men be jealous of women. Men be jealous. What I did ask to that, to that question was, I mean, to Summer Walker was, what did I say again? I said, does being with the man that has been with everybody turn you off? Not saying that he's been with everybody, but just like when you're Leading dating someone that you find out that he's literally been for the streets. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> no, it no. hasn't. That's what she I've I've dated some hoes. I have mm -hmm. dated some hoes. And I don't mind it. I'm gonna be real. I don't mind it. Like sometimes it's a little too extreme. Yeah. I have dated some guys where it's a little too extreme. Like real that dick in. Why yeah, look, not, I don't need to roll your different. dick up like a fruit roll up and put it back in the pack. Like calm down. You don't need to have like bro, yeah. my ex has uh, fucked everybody. Yeah. Literally everybody. Like he is a hoe. Every bitch think that even I would I would be hearing strays about his name. I'm like literally, ev bro. Everybody yeah. talks about that man, and I'm like, you out here tricking and hoeing and slanging, out, yeah. slanging dick like you ain't never slanged it before. And I mean, I never really judged him for it, but then it, it, it over the years it became to a point where it was like. Okay, you are trifling, honey. Yeah. Like, you are trifling. But, nah, if you're a little bit of a hoe, I could look past it. It becomes a point where it's like, now you're embarrassing me by the type of people you have been with. At, oh, at that my. point, it's like, mm -hmm. sometimes yeah. it's quality Literally. over quantity. And I've, been, I've looked at, I, my quantity... That means the number, right? Yeah. Isn't that, isn't that why? But, like, I've literally not been with some guys who wanted to be, me, be with me because they were such hoes. And they mm -hmm. were such, mm -hmm. like... Just like women, sometimes I'd be like, thinking like the hoes be having good dick. Honestly, but and that's the thing about it. And like I would look at it sometimes. I'd be like, I had sex with this guy because I'm thinking he. You know what I'm saying? I like, think that if you gonna date a hoe, date him for dick. Don't don't wife him. Don't wife a hoe. Yeah, don't. Cause they, they. I, I feel like men who are hoes are searching for something that they are never going to be content with, and I think that they want penis. Keep in mind, I've asked the question before. Why are you doing it? Why do you sleep with all these men? Is it because you want a boy? Is it? I, I'm i not going to lie. Are a, are a compulsive cheater, I'm like, you want some bussy. Literally. I, like, you want you some want bussy. Some bussy. You want pussy some bussy. Pussy is no longer not enough. enough for you. It's I not swear. Enough. I'm sorry. And yeah. then, like, and then like I've said that before. And you know they be eating me up on TikTok about that. They be like, oh, they just didn't like you. I'm like, yeah. no. They want some dick on the side, too. I, like, I'm not gonna, I don't I got it for you, baby. I swear to you, I would not. 
be shocked. I would not be shocked. Yeah, like if you're like I don't know. I literally be like after a while, like when I hear of men constantly cheating, never being faithful right. in a relationship. You can't find a woman because you can't find a woman that you can stick with and stay with because your soulmate is a man, babe. I don't know what your soulmate is. Some bussy <laughs> mate, babe. Your soulmate <laughs> is your teammate. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's like anyways. Um, <laughs> All right, I think we got to wrap this up. Um, we could do an advice segment. Yeah, let's do no, an advice we... segment. I'm crying. My, what? Boy, my boyfriend hard eyed a picture of mine. That boy don't never hard. Like, why? why like, it'd be random. Wait, men. he commented? No, like, hard I did a story that I posted. But I'm, I was laughing because earlier I had called him and I was like, You're not going to tell me I look pretty? I was like, You never tell me I look pretty. And now he like, you know, he be trying to yeah. overdo like, ah, so, so, so beautiful. beautiful. Look, like, so. honestly, at least he's a man of action. At least you got to tell him something once and he's going to figure it out. Oh, yeah. 100%. So we're back to advice again, you guys. So advice. Hey, winner and shy. First off, I love y'all and literally look forward to watching every week. Y'all are so pretty, hilarious and authentic. Mind you, this advice is from a while ago because we be needing. Send y'all advice again, okay? Send advice. We love you. Go to the DMs behind the likes podcast and your advice. Yeah. Um, so she said, I really wanted some advice on this because I'm going crazy. I met this guy a few months ago and we've been hanging out ever since. Nothing too serious, but we talk every day and sometimes hang out when our schedules align. He claims he likes me, but he sometimes he confuses me. On V-Day, he was out of town for work, so we couldn't hang out. So he just sent me a cute little text. However, when he got back, he still didn't plan anything with me. I know we aren't official and have only known each other a few months and I shouldn't feel entitled to anything, but I think it's weird how he can say he likes me and talks to me every day, but didn't come and see me or plan anything with me when he get, when he got me. Didn't we just talk about this? Yeah. Crazy actually. Cause I didn't read this. This is just in the email. No. By the way, we still haven't seen one another. Mm. Am I feeling too entitled or is this a red flag sign that he doesn't really like me? We just talked about this. Yeah, we just talked about it. So if you need to scroll back and listen to the advice, listen to it. Because a man will do what he wants to do and be with who he wants to be with and make the time and the effort to be with you. Yeah. So that is all, you guys. Um, don't forget to... We have we have been consistently going back to back with the Patreon content, so be sure to check yes, out our Patreon. Yes, we just dropped an hour long Patreon. An hour video. long. It's a whole nother episode of Behind the Likes back there. Yeah. So like we dropped an hour long that we are you know going to be consistent with that. So and next week we're going to Japan. So if you guys want our Japan content, that's going to be all on the Patreon. Yeah, so all on the Patreon. Gotta so go check it out. Check I love it out. Bye. Bye.